a number of critical state agencies and private sector organizations were represented here today. And we basically reminded people of the different protocols that are already on the books as it relates to our level of preparedness and the things we need to do as we ready this country for an impending weather system. Um, I was particularly pleased with the intervention that, that the interventions that came from some of the critical agencies, namely the fire service, um, the Ministry of Infrastructure was here, the Ministry of Health, they gave a pretty um, good account of themselves in terms of their state of readiness um, to deal with the nation, deal with the populace um, in the event that this weather system were to impact St. Lucia later this week. Um, I think people should pay attention to the weather report, people should pay close attention to anything that is coming out of the the, the office of the chief, um, uh, the director of meteorological services and, and, and generally the Ministry of Infrastructure. I want to encourage people to rely on authentic sources for information. Um, I know there's a tendency when, when disaster looms or when a, a system is approaching us for people to basically feed um, from sources that are not always credible. So listen to, to bulletins and advisories that come from central government, that come from NEMO. You should not entertain rumors. This is as basic as it gets um, when we, we, we speak about people receiving information that could inform decision making at the family level, at the community level. So I'm very pleased with, with the state of readiness as it were. Um, the Ministry of Infrastructure, I know they have a comprehensive plan for um, how they manage the, the water courses, the silting of rivers and things of that sort. Um, so all in all, I'm satisfied with the meeting and of course we will continue to meet um, based on the determinations we make with the information that is presented. Um, and meetings will be convened to ensure that we stay on top of that situation as best we can. It is important for people to take whatever information that comes from the Met Office seriously. Weather forecasting meteorology is not an exact science. It is just a forecast where the, the, the technical people, um, the weather forecasters, the meteorologists themselves, they look at computer models and based on the data that is presented to them, they can tell us what we should expect. But from time to time, you will find that the predictions they make um, may not necessarily unravel or unfold as, as they tell us they will. And this is due to no fault of theirs. This is just how dynamic nature can be where you come and you predict a system today and that can change tomorrow. It is always better for us to be safe than sorry. So if it is that we are told that, that we should expect heavy rains and, and, and there's a potential for flooding, people should take that into consideration even if tomorrow when you wake up you notice we have clear skies and you have no flood waters. As I said, the science is inexact but it is important for us to be safe than sorry. It is important for us to heed um, the caution and, and, and the woods that, that are of... of, of um, the, 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 whatever, whatever counseling we get from the Met Office and NEMO, we should to, take those very, very seriously um, because as I would have said in the meeting, it is always better for us to lose a day's work. It is always better for us to lose a week of instructions in schools than to lose a life. We can always replace property, but we do not want for anybody to perish um, in times of disaster. And against that backdrop, I want to once again appeal to the St. Lucian public to please take the warnings issued by the Met Office and NEMO very, very seriously.